in case I have some <coughs> um, analysis requests from weird headaches. Uh, he's asking for RDD, Doge, and XVG. Let me start with RDD. So here's a chart of the RDD with the original counts and markings that I had done last time. This again is in a logarithmic chart. So let's go back a little bit. So check this out. This was rounding very like a saucer, very flat, but still very rounding. Took a very long talk about a this is what I mean by hurry up and wait syndrome in the cryptos. They'll do the impulse. They won't waste any time doing impulse. Which is why, why, why I often say, if you see an impulse, write it out and count it to five and get out. Because the subsequent correction is going to be just very beleaguered and long. Okay? So fine. And then here, another impulse, one, two, three, four, five. For three, they don't waste any time. Not at all. But then it's just like the army. Hurry up and wait. This is going to be wave four. So here, if wave two was this long, wave four is going to be long as well. But maybe not as long. Which is why I counted this as three and four. And I counted this from a pattern point of view, a downward pointing um, bullish flag. And I had pointed here and then I labeled this one and I thought maybe two will be here but apparently two is here. Let's say three, four, five. To break out of this and the signal that wave four is done, you need an impulse. Now this was a vertical move. Any vertical move usually has a very deep retrace. So it could, for now it could be this way. But I'm also thinking, given how overlapping this is, very overlapping, there is a potential for That is possible. But my leading count is still. No. Still this. And let's say you already have shares here. And if it goes lower and lower and hits the bottom line, what should you do? You could either set up a stop and get out, wait for it to go count to five re-enter at the terminal end of the C. Or you can leave your shares alone because you've got kegs of dry powder still left and ladder in and accumulate more at the terminal end of the C. Because as I've said frequently, there are more than one ways to count Elliott waves, but often the destination would be the same. Now for the ones who are not equipped with the tools to be able to do this kind of analysis independently will be shaken by this decline if there is a decline like this by the completion of ABC. And emotionally it will be very painful. And you'll be wondering what happened? What's going on? Why is it going down? What's the fundamental reason that's causing this? And, and, to a point, and you'll get to a point where you can't take the pain anymore because of the mystery as to why it's going down. And you're seeing the balance of your account getting smaller and smaller and you're going to sell right here. And I've learned these lessons time and time again. Emotionally, it's very draining. But if you have the analytical tools under your belt and proficiency because you practiced it, which I hope the followers and readers are trying to maybe decide to get 
to that path, then you know kind of what's going on. You're not befuddled as much. You're not emotionally drained when you're seeing this. You're saying, okay, so, okay, broke this, coming back down, and then it's impulsing one, two, three, four, five. All right, either I can sell now, and, and we come in again, lower, get more coins, or leave it alone, use my dry keg of powder, ladder in at the very terminal end of ABC. So this is my alternate, A, B, C. You could see as low as 0.00, 0 0.0038. It is currently at 0 0.009. Percentage-wise, yeah, that's a big fall. But that's not really, you know, you're, if you're looking at just the percentages, uh, and you're missing out on the bigger picture as to the direction, then you're going to end up buying high and selling low consistently. Your account is going to go from, let's say, this, okay, I think I heard Andreas Antonopoulos said the best way to make a million dollars by day trading is to begin with two million dollars. And I totally agree with that, especially when you're, and that is when you are uninformed. when you are not equipped with the tools and the experience and the proficiency which you need to get somehow gain in your own pathway and the best way to start is to buy the books that I recommended right here Elliott Way Principle by Frost and Prechter and Technical Analysis of Stock Trends these two books I highly recommend you study it practice why because practice makes perfect. The key is, in the, as in anything, in any endeavor, is in the application. So please, consider buying these two books. And then you will have the capability to make it happen. Make your profits happen. Instead of being befuddled and asking what just happened. When you know the tools and know how to use the tools, or when you know and learn how to fish, you are no longer ruled by circumstances. Rather, you make it happen. Your own profitable circumstances. And that is when you skew that saying, the best way to make a million is to begin with two million by day trading, skew that saying, because that saying is purely only applicable to the weak, to the uninformed. But for the wise and the informed, these are the tools that at least I have. Elliott Waves, Chart Pattern Recognition, and a technically indicator called MACD. And this is only when, the only way I know how to make a million dollars with ten thousand dollars. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know on the comments. Thank you.